Alright, so today Boost is uh, going to announce their partnership with the Prudential. So you can uh, buy the insurance, you want to pay your premiums uh, using the Boost Wallet app. It's possible right now. But we will wait for the press conference and see what they're going to announce as well, alright? So let's wait for the press conference. Prudential Malaysia, comprising Prudential Assurance Malaysia Berhad and Prudential BSN Takafu Berhad is partnering with Boost to strengthen and enhance our offerings uh, in the customer journey on the highly digitized space today. With, the, with this partnership with Boost, Prudential will be able to provide customers a seamless, secure and convenient experience when it comes to their insurance premium and Takafu contribution payments. Both Prudential and Boost have come together in sharing the same business goal of making cashless transactions for consumers a step in making Malaysia a future cashless society. This journey started with Prudential about a year and a half ago. Like we, we received the call out of the blue for us to meet up with the Prudential team. And you know, back then, uh, the, the, the cashless journey was pretty new. So it was kind of interesting to get a call from Prudential. It was an area that we were not uh, thinking of attacking at, at that point in time. But uh, it was a very, very nice surprise for us to hear that Prudential had aspirations and intentions to convert the way that their customers make payments and uh, they were very, very uh, much willing to embrace the cashless journey. That being said, they, I, I felt and I still feel that Prudential is a very special partner because not only did they um, have that intention but they actually followed through with it. Right? I mean, what that means is many, many merchants that we deal with talk about going cashless but Prudential actually makes the effort, I mean. As a customer-centric company, Prudential's purpose is to help our customers progress in their lives and also to meet their evolving needs. Uh, we live in a highly digital and uh, very connected world these days. Smartphone usage in Malaysia is close to 98% and, and I understand that Malaysia is generally spend almost 14 hours a day on a variety of digital devices. Looking deeper into the figures, uh, probably with no surprise to many of us that this uh, tech-savvy population in Malaysia is led uh, by our millennials, 59% uh, of which age between uh, or age less than 35 are using digital tools in their daily lives. Innovative technology and apps are clearly granting our millennial generation easy access to information, uh, creating instant demands uh, on their bills, their health, their lifestyle, uh, and other daily needs. So the uh, demo screen, and, and actually what we want to show you is uh, on, on the collaboration with Boost, um, what's possible and, and, and what's coming. So here is really the, the giant screen and here you can see the vouchers, insurance and, and, and parking. And if I were to use the example of, uh, of you know, going to insurance, so let's just click that. And there you go. Here's actually just a page depicting a partner like Prudential working with Boost, the many possibilities that uh, you can put forth in the name of customer experience. So for this particular instance, where we really want to get to is a space where Customers of Prudential who are also Boost users, how can they go into an environment where it's very convenient for them to do a number of things with an insurer like ourselves? So if you look at the screen here, uh, we've got a number of how that is available and they're designed to give the experience to a Prudential customer as well as a Boost user. And if I just draw your attention on something like premium payment, so if you click on that, really it's a simple page for you to be able to put in your details to be able to effect a payment. And that's just as simple as making life easier for customers who choose different payment options. Now, of course, Prudential already have credit card as a payment option. Uh, we have uh, also auto debit. But we know that a lot of customers of ours 
are also users of Boost. And this is really about availing another payment channel um, um, for, for them. Now, if I go back to the screen that you already saw, and let's take another one. Let's say customers are in need to search for our panel hospital, right? And there's an emergency in the family and they need this. And again, here, by a click of a button, you can actually see via a map where the panel hospitals are for potential customers. And again, we're delivering this type of service because it's quicker, uh, it may be an emergency situation, and, and that time of need, this is a very much needed um, convenience that we provide to our customer. There are other areas as well, and I want to point towards uh, this particular PAL, uh, which actually give you access to the PALs by credential application. And with the click of a button, um, if you're already a registered PALS user, you can get access to our PALS app. Earlier, uh, Mr. Gunn has already alluded to the fact that we've just launched PALS by Prudential. This is an all-in-one health application for all Malaysians. And this is really the space where you can go in and uh, use some functionalities that are offered by PALS, amongst of which is really a health check um, that you know you can actually do uh, a health assessment through the application. We also have the application called Check Your Symptoms, which is really an application where you can ask some question, and there'll be a dialogue powered by uh, our partner uh, through a, an AI exchange of messages. The third one is actually the ability to talk to a doctor virtually. We've also availed this functionality. And this is uh, where you can also, via PALS, go into this environment where you can talk to a doctor, both visually, also uh, via audio as well. And that's just really a summary of what um, you can do. Uh, and there are other areas we're looking at. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about contact us as well. In this day and age, people are talking about just a few clicks to get into the activity that you want to do. And here, we also are thinking a little bit about creating a button where you can just press and dial directly to the hotline for, for Prudential. And that's really just some functionality um, that we're putting up um, as, a, as a joint collaboration with our partner. And, um, and there's the other tile, um, you know, we're also thinking a lot about collaborating, so there might be some uh, products that we're looking at in the future that are only for, for Boost customer. Uh, but that will be a subject of, uh, of another uh, presentation. So I just want to say that this is really what we're thinking of, and the key team really is, is one where we want to provide convenience um, to our customer, and we want to provide convenience to Boost users as well. And that's where I think uh, uh, earlier in the speeches uh, given by Gary as well as uh, Mr. Gan, we really are talking about partnering, working together, we really just want focus in mind, and that's one of the consumer or customer for both organizations. And I think this is a fine depiction of really looking at customer centricity. It always starts from a place where we're trying to make lives easier for customer. Okay, we will start with Ajay Kari for Boost. <laughs> Right at the top part. <laughs> Next up, Prudential Assurance Malaysia Berhad. Mr. Gan? Inche Amir from Prudential BSN Takafo Berha. Congratulations. It is now a